Hi there, my name is Juha Ikman and I'm a professional anime and manga artist. And in this video I will be talking with you about three little things that I think make your anime and manga art to the next level. Now if you are at a, at a spot where you would like to truly master manga art and you would, you know, like to improve your skills, I think these li three little things could just make that, you know, the improvement. Now I can't, I can't guarantee that you will be a master after learning these three things, but I think these are some of the things that I think make a difference. So the very first thing that I would like you to know is that line art plays a big part in anime and manga art. I think there's like two different kind of line art and one of them is like graphical style and the other one is kind of like painterly style. Now you can achieve this graphical style by using solid line art brush and if you want to go for the painterly um, style or you know would like to make it seem like more of a drawing than a graphical illustration then you have to use textured brush. Now the difference between these brushes are, well, the name kind of like suggests already, that the textured brush has texture in it and the solid graphical line, line art brush doesn't have any texture. So when you're drawing this graphical style, you are aiming for a animation style end result or drawing. But when you're drawing textured or when you are drawing with a textured brush, then you are aiming for a painterly style and more like, you know, it feels it feels a bit different when, you know, having this dex textured brush than, you know, drawing with a solid line or with a solid brush. The texture is kind of like, it leaves this transparency in it and when you are drawing with it, the stuff under the textured brush comes through. Now this is more like for digital artists and it it's a bit different if you are drawing in traditional style or in traditional way like pen and paper and using inks. So if you are drawing digitally this applies to you more. Okay? The second tip that I have for you is choosing colors. Now you can choose whether you want to use like toned down colors or earth-like colors. I tend to use earth-like colors. It's, it's a pretty hard word to say earth-like. But anyway, the other way to choose colors is to use saturated colors. Now if you are thinking like, well, mm, like do you have any example? Well, yeah. So for example, if you think Studio Ghibli production, you can pretty much notice that they don't usually use saturated colors because it's not their style. But if you think about Fate Stay Night or Fate Stay Grand Order or, or, or you know, that anime series and movies, you can see that they use saturated colors and it brings a very different kind of end result and mood for the drawing or for the animation. Now, even though I'm speaking about animations, the same thing applies to drawings and drawing, drawing art, creating art. Okay, now that was the second thing. Okay, now the third thing is that what kind of style do you have or aim to have? Now, there's few differences. Now, you can use like very realistic style where you you know go for a very specific anatomy or then you go for unrealistic style where you are you know exaggerating different uh, things like arms or legs or those kind of things and you can also use different styles like like cell shading for example i use cell shading in my drawings and you can use, use painterly style or you can go for a comic book style where you are only using ink and you don't use any colors. With cell shading we are drawing a bit more graphical style. It's a very 
defined style and the line art plays a very big role in that style but if you aim for a more painterly style then you don't you know use so much like you can use line art but you don't have to use it so much so in painterly style you can actually just you know paint over the line art okay so you have uh, well at least i think there's like three different styles like i said uh, graphical style painterly style and then you have the comic book style then with the colors you have like toned down colors like earth like colors and then a very saturated colors like you can get those by using like color dodge or, or glowing or you know overlay those kind of layer effects in your drawings now if you are yet again drawing traditionally these things might not apply to you but if you are drawing digitally then these things more than apply to you okay then we had the line art now there was yet again graphical graphical or textured line you know textured line works best with painterly style okay so these are my three tips for you to keep in mind when you are drawing your anime manga art so that when when you start a new drawing you think about the line art you want to go for you think about the colors but you also think about the style and the overall end result that you are aiming for okay so hopefully you got something out of these tips and more than anything if you like this video hit the like button and if you want to remember this channel hit the subscribe and if you want to get notifications then hit the no notification bell now of course if you don't want any of those then you know what to do okay so that's it for this video hopefully you liked it and i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching